All right, guys, welcome back to the World Championship Series, European Premier League season number three, as we are here in Group D with the first place qualifier from Group D. It's going to be either Lucifron or Genius. Awesome. That's right, and we'll be getting into that game in seconds time. It's about to be counting in. But before we get into that game, do remember to go over to Twitter. Do remember to hashtag WCS if we've told you thousands and thousands of times already. And this time include hashtag Rocket. And let us know who you think is going to go through in second place. Not who's the winner of this one, but who's the winner of the final match of the evening. And uh, if you guess that correctly, Rockout will pick out one of you lucky nerds from uh, you nerds at uh, hashtag WCS and hashtag Rocket. Mm -hmm. And maybe you'll get the chance to win the mouse that I'm using right now. It's kind of weird prob probability-wise because if you think about it, you'd be smarter to go for one of the players that's in the lower right now than one of these because one of these is guaranteed to go through. But at the same time, one of these is so strong that they could just I take the second place. Right, I'm going to give you hints on how to guess right. All right. Because I'm pretty sure Luce Fun's going to win this game. I in my so. mind. Yeah. I'm going to be straight and honest with you. I think Luce Fun's going to win this game. So I'd count Luce Fun out. So you got three players. Kirby, Starbuck, and Genius. I think Grubby's going to beat Starbuck. Mm -hmm. So that means Grubby Genius, if the way that I think it's going to play mm -hmm. out. And then do you think that Grubby would lose again versus Genius in a PvP? I don't think so. Heads up. We'll see. We'll see. So, like, guys, let's jump into game number one here. As we have spawning down to the bottom left hand corner, our blue Terran representing Spain and Mouseports. He is Lucifron. And up to the top right. We have a red Protoss representing Korea. He is a genius and oh dearie me. Lucifron has the red. Da -da -da -da. He has the red blanket thingy. What is it called? What's the correct name for it? I, it's not a blanket. I, I don't, let's call it a blanket. <laughs> What's it? You don't know don't the know. proper name? What, what does a matador use to taunt a bull? I have What's absolutely it called? no idea what the, the, what the real name is. The red blanket of Lucifron. <laughs> Lucifron's got the red blanket. <laughs> And he's going to be waving it in this game, man, because he's going to proxy an eight barracks on the other side of the map. This is so cool, because does he go gas and then just jump up with a reefer? Uh, just... He can, but the, look at the position of the barracks. It's a little bit weird, because the tech lab can't fit on. And with the tech lab not being able to fit on there, he's going to have to lift up and put down. He could have just put it to the left, but yeah. on the flip side of things, he has got the gas. And he is probably going to lift up, and it's not as easily scouted if it's slightly off to the right there. So it looks like that's going to be the case here. Uh, going to be able to bounce into the main base. Nom, nom, nom. And uh, Gateway is going to go down for Genius here, but he's going to have no idea as he's not sent a probe out to scout or anything like that, adding on his gases. Uh, and if this goes normal, yeah. uh, then you know he may end up starting a Zealot eventually but it might be a little bit late. I just had, I said a tech lab and my brain was in Wings of Liberty and I was thinking that you needed a tech lab to build a Reaper and I was like, wait a minute, you can't, he has to lift up and move and, oh man, I was back in the olden days there. So he That's does just build was. the Reaper. Um, I, I like this move from Loose From because I read it as, and, and I read things, I read scenarios very differently mm -hmm. to a lot of people. I read this as, you cheese my bro. Oh, hello. That's a little bit awkward. Yeah, that is. <laughs> Um, I read this as you choose my bro. Mm. Be choosing you. <laughs> Be choosing you. Be bro. choosing you, bro. <laughs> All right. Well, genius is on the way over, and uh, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, Luceron's going to have a look around and uh, see the cybernetic score, and then the Reaper jumps in, and the oh. Zella hasn't even started yet. Yeah. And Ouch. this is going to be awkward. The probes will die. Probes. This evening's probes will die. Probes will die. Uh, he's going to try and chase that second one, and uh, kaboom, baby, he goes down. Imagine if we were to do a trailer for this very game. <laughs> the one, <laughs> it's just on September one. the 10th, 2013, Lucifron versus Genius, probes will die. And unfortunately, the Zealot won't catch up with the Reaper. <laughs> he's going to try, but <laughs> no cigar for now. He's going to get a stalker, but meh. Wait, what? There's a factory in his mineral line. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> this is cool. This is fun. Probes will die and mines will explode. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're going to be seeing in this game. And uh, he used to have a probe on the other side of the map. He's, he's not a dummy. All right, let's, let's be dummy. serious. He's a smart guy and he's going to be like, wait a minute, he's still like he's, expanding. A, he's actually a genius, in fact. Well, you could say that. You could say. You could say that. He's going to run away. Uh, okay, so the mines will be on the way here in a second. And that's going to cause a lot of problems. He's not going to have detection for a long time. So he has to catch those good and uh, lickety-split, good and quick. Lickety-split. Lickety-split, man. 
Uh, Corona was going into the cyber core. Extra gateway is coming out because I think he's starting to realize what's going on. <laughs> Third Reaper trying to run away. He's yeah. just going to get some shield damage. But to off. be honest, if he's able to deflect the Widow Mines mm -hmm. with three gateways coming in, mm -hmm. he could very easily just turn around and be aggressive because he's got a probe on the other side of the map. He just needs to build a pile on which he just started. But the problem is he doesn't know about the factory and the Widow Mines. But if yeah. the Widow Mine just goes in and he sees it and it's stops it. Oh, he's, he's, he's like keeping it away. Kills one Reaper. Reaper. Yeah. Winter Mine's trying to get into the mineral line. It's not going to get there. Two stalkers. Two stalkers. Uh. Three stalkers. All right. Rally. It's okay. Okay. So he's going to have another Widow Mine. So what I do now is I keep three stalkers and the Zealot and I actually warp in uh, on the other side of the map three Zealots. Yeah. Yeah. On the other side of the map with that pylon, I just sit defensive with the units I've got because the Widow Mine's a big, big threat here. I warp in Zealots to the mineral line of uh, oh. Ospawn here. And I really like the Stalker positioning from Genius here, just to make sure that the, that Widow Mine's not going to sneak around anyway. There's a second one, though. He's going oh, for it. He's got to oh. stop that Widow Mine. It's going to die. Oh. Oh, it's Wait, so I close. Uh, I wouldn't sacrifice any units, but as soon as it moved... Oh, Ooh, Ooh, he gets the Stalker. That was good. He's going to try and go over to the left-hand side. But right now, there's two Zealots and a Stalker in his opponent's base. There yeah. is nothing. So as long as Genius keeps the Widow Mines away from his mineral line, then he, he should be able to pick up this game. It's such a strange game here. Even a pylon right the next mine. to this. Ah, oh, the Widow Mine in the main base. Is ah, it's it? dead. It's oh. dead. There's one dead. Okay, so he's got one. And there's about to be an Observer too. Yeah. Genius is doing really well. He's reacted nicely to this. Oh, the Reapers are dead too. Oh, wow. There's only the Widow Mine and the Observer's about to come out and there's more units. Oh, GG. GG. <laughs> genius, genius. Oh, wow. What, oh, a, what a hero. I wasn't expecting... You know, <laughs> I, I was expecting Genius to be the one that was actually going for the pressure, pressure, maybe something cheesy himself. But then Lucifer tries and Genius is like, no. Wow, no. man. Wow. That is, uh, that's really funny. That this was game. bizarre. That's funny. That was a bizarre Let's game. Let's go game two. This is, Lucifer is like, I guarantee this is the, this is the face palm. This is the face palm slash the, 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 hand, mic, sorry. the head in your hands. Because this was, uh, this is awkward for, for Lucifer on. Comes into this as a, as a big clear favorite to take it 2-0, I'd like to say, especially considering the circumstances yeah. that Genius has to play from Korea. And now all of a sudden, he's down the game number one because of this weird build he went for. <laughs> it didn't work, unfortunately. Oh, Paul Lucifron. Uh, the, the idea of it sounded great. On pen and pa put pen to paper, and it's like, actually, yeah, I'm just going to I'm gonna put a barracks there, and there's going to be a factory in his mineral life. It's going to be great. And it's, but it, it didn't really work out. Yeah. Didn't really work out. Well, we'll see what happens in game number two. I don't think we're going to be seeing any of that nonsense. I think he plays uh, it normal again. I think Genius goes for the aggression. Well, this is a perfect time. You've got a game yeah. advantage. You're playing with a, a latency issue. What kind of build would I go for, though, if I was a Genius, though? It's but Whirlwind. But the thing is... is Proxy that Stargate? Maybe. Just go for it. Maybe. There's a lot of... I mean, everyone goes Command Center first on this map. Yeah. Right, so... I think that also, you know, if Genius advances in this spot, then we can't have Grubby and Lucifron in the next round, which guarantees already one of the fan favorites going out. Tough Grub spot. Yeah. Tough spot. And we'll find out what happens, because we're going to load into Whirlwind. I think that Genius just goes ahead and either a DTs yeah. or just straight out, straight out uh, Stargate, proxy Stargate. Yeah. Depends on his scouting pattern. If he sees command center first, I'm going Stargate. Even in the main base is fine. You don't need to prox it. Yeah. Stargate true. beforehand, just get a bit of an edge with an Oracle. Uh, I think that would be nice. Be but nice. does Lucifer even open up command center first, which is one of the most popular builds on this map against Genius, who he knows is going to try to cheese most likely. Oh, wow. And the spawning positions here, as we have spawning down to the bottom right-hand corner as our blue Terran representing mouse spots in Spain. He is Lucifron. And down to the bottom left, in the red, representing Korea, he is genius. Like lasers going past his head and stuff like that. Well, if, if this was DreamHack, it would be, man. He's a mastermind. He is. He's a genius. I actually see genius as, like, not not team-wise, but an evil genius. You know, like like one of the bad guys, like with his cape on and stuff like that. He's a tall Korean. He is. So... He, he could be that evil, evil mastermind guy. It, w it would be perfect if he joined EG, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> EG genius? Oh, EG ge genius. You just call him E genius. <laughs> e do. genius. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I don't think that might. Oh. It'd be cool if it did. I mean, there's still a lot of Koreans on EG. Not many. 
How many Protoss? How many, uh, what, EG Oz? And that's it? Oz, Huck. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I mean, I'm oh, Koreans. Korean. Yeah. I think they only have Oz as a uh, Korean. Yeah, I think so. Oh, well. Anyway. Uh, EG certainly has budget. <laughs> Anyway, so oh JYP too. Sorry. Oh yeah, JYP. Oh, JYP. I was thinking he's he's taking on a singing career now though. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, look at this command center first, but from Genius, who didn't opt to just the cheese, is going to go Nexus first. Sick. Um, he kind of reads into the map and reads into how it's played out yeah. currently uh, in the meta game. Is that the? I mean, the meta game is how it plays out usually at the top level, and this is always going to be command center first. Well, the majority of the time, command center first on a big map like this. Yeah. And uh, from there, I think Genius still has some good opportunities to put on some pressure if he wants to. Um, with, there are some things like Immortal Busts, but again, not that common on this map. As Lucifron moves out, and he's scouting anti-clockwise. I, I kept saying before that everyone always scouts clockwise, and now everyone's scouting anti-clockwise. I don't know what's going on. They just they know that you're all cast in, and I know. they're going to do the opposite to what you say. Thanks, thanks, Lucifron. I, I have a little bit of a curse going on because there was that Cybernetics call yesterday. There was the Oracle today. I was like, yeah, Grubby's Oracle's doing really well. And then it died. Sorry, man, you got to be careful with your words. Uh, yeah, I do. I have to. I don't want to go down the curse route. Uh, all right, so Genius is set up really nicely because the majority of games that you play from a Protoss side is that you're like, all right, I'm just going to go Gateway Expand because um, he could be going Reaper Expand. Mm -hmm. He could be going for a Fast Factory. Uh, but in this case, it is just Command Center first. So he's actually got a good build to what he's playing against and for the majority of times is better than you what you usually play with because of going gateway expand rather than yeah. nexus first here well just getting that gas in throwing the pylon down over in this right hand side could even throw uh, something down there to hide it uh, as it would technically be out of scan range if uh, if loose from was just to scan straight the main and he's gonna spot that his opponent's not up to this top left is lucifron so uh, unfortunately for him, now knows that he's scouting out his opponent last, and Genius has had plenty of time to do whatever he wants. Yeah, the, there's absolutely no way that uh, Lucifer was ever going to be able to punish this. Uh, and he should be just going towards his uh, refineries next, just to make sure he can get to a tech lab and then just move on with his tech. Uh, but Genius, on the other hand, from this position, uh, probably the, the most standard route to go for is the robotics facility, mm -hmm. because likewise he doesn't really know what's going on either. Remember, he scouted last position too, so... I mean, he scouted first position, but at the same time as the last position, which means he hasn't yeah. seen anything. He saw the bunker and, and marines in it, but he doesn't know what build this is at all. Probably expecting command center first, though, just through having the bunker. If there wasn't a bunker there, maybe it would have been a tech build with factory, but most likely just expecting uh, CC first here. Yeah. I mean, his build's catered towards it, right? <gasps> gateway. Yes. This is. We see a fourth gateway coming in. This is what I was expecting, man. The, just the extra gateways. Chrono boost in the cyber core. Ooh, cheeky man. I like it. Um, Probe moving out now to get a pylon down. That being said, there is quite a lot of Marines already out for Lucifron. Yeah, Lucifron, though, uh, I mean, with one bunker, this is very difficult to hold down. The fourth and fifth gateway do come in on mm -hmm. the right-hand side, and, and maybe another one, yeah. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So an 006 gate coming in. Lucifron's got an engineering bay nice and early to get turrets in case there's any DTs or anything like that. The factory's going to come in next. He hasn't got the, the, the worst setup for this. Mm-hmm. But what he does not have is any presence down the lower side of his ramp. Yeah. He hasn't checked up the high. Okay, as I say that, he's moved a Marine down and mm. on patrol. So he will have a bit of reaction time, but ideally you'd like a second bunker. Because you'd ideally like to see this coming. Oh, yeah. In an ideal world, you'd scan and see it. But so far, Lucifron's got no info whatsoever here. And it would be so hard to actually scan and see this. You would. Is he going to get two yeah. zeroed? Uh, I, he may end up doing so. This is going to hit him really, really hard. Lucifron also taking extra gas. He's got natural. all his Marines in the main. Oh, scan, 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 scan. I bet he saw nothing. Sees two gateways. See two gateways. Uh, and there's no probes being built. Uh, bunkers are going to be made. Uh, he knows, he knows, he knows. Yeah. He Sick does. analysis. He knows. He knows. He knows. He knows, guys. That's, he knows. that's just it. Yeah. Uh, a lot of units already. I'd, built, I'd be building another bunker too, actually. Yeah, I, I'm bunkers. not comfortable with two. I, I much prefer three in this position. I mean, the SCVs are already positioned there, but even that is not really going to help. There's that third bunker that he really, yeah. really needs. Mine's here. coming in as well to help defend this. He knows exactly. He's not even trying to get to Stargates, uh, to Starport, because he knows that he, he doesn't have time. Mm. This is a big gateway push. It's coming right now. Yeah, he sees a lot of it, and there is a lot of sentries there with the force fields ready to actually cut a lot of this off. There's not too many zealots. 
zealots. Five zealots here to tank what they can. How much are they going to be able to do? As the force fields do go down a little bit haphazardly. Not much being repaired on this first bunker, but it does end up going down. There wasn't that many SCVs in the end. Trying to retreat on back. Army supplies, 24 to 20. And the King is trying to push forward. He's doing okay, though. He's not terrible. The Widowmine coming in. Ooh, but yep. still, he, he's under a lot of pressure. So six gateways. Six gateways. Ooh. If he gets up that oh. ramp. All right, well. Well, uh-oh. This is troublesome. He has force fields, and he has the probe still with him. Oh, if the probe gets a pile on up in this top high ground. Uh-oh. Here comes the surround with the SCVs. He's trying to kill this off right here, right now. He absolutely has to, Stim but he's still taking a lot well. of damage. Ten workers have gone down. He's going to try and force field a lot of those out. The pylon's still up on the high ground. There's one on the low ground as well, but he's trying to work away against that. So many workers have died off. 23 More workers. Zealots can just come in now. And, oh, jeez. Uh, uh, they walked in from the low ground. Genius isn't going to look like a dummy here, Apollo. Oh, he's done man. well. He's going to the round of 16. Wow. He's oh. going to the round of 16. <laughs> No, I don't. I didn't predict this. I messed up everyone's predictions for sorry, the rockout guys. winnings. I'm sorry. I thought Lucifer would win this. I think a lot of people thought Lucifer would win this. But Lucifer, his Achilles heel, Protoss again, and Genius, Genius. does it. Yes. Oh. He's going to Europe. Pack your bags. You're going to Europe. He like stands up straight away, puts his sunglasses on, his fedora or whatever, yeah. all his hats and stuff. Puts on his like Hawaiian shirt. He walks off. Uh, better warn yeah. him though; they might be a little bit colder in a week's time. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Sick, sick. He's sick. coming to Europe, and uh, congratulations, buddy. Congratulations. Nicely done by Genius. Impressive yeah. play, and uh, now that means we are guaranteed to see one of the fan favorites gone. Yep. Yeah. It happens. The curse of the Europe Premier League continues <laughs> as the, the two fan favourites here. One is about to be eliminated because if Grubby makes his way through Starbuck, which is again expected, but anything's possible, Grubby and Lucifer would play in the final match of the evening to find out who yeah. moves to the round of 16. And remember, the pecking order of the WCS non-career list in the WCS ranking system, the two players um, that are still in the running the highest ranked player still in the running, or Grubby and Lucifron. Demarga is in between them, I think, but Demarga didn't qualify for Season mm. 3 Premier League. So it's these two players. One of them now will have their dreams completely gone. Uh, and for a lot of people out there, if uh, if they want the best chance to advance on, I, uh, for people, it would be Grubby, sitting at that 24th spot currently. Whereas Genius, I mean, where is he? <laughs> he is like I mean, 136th. Yep. So for him to qualify onto BlizzCon, he would need to win this, then probably win, as in win the whole tournament, uh, and then do well at the season finals. And So tall order for Genius, but he advances onto the round of 16. That's right. That's uh, impressive. Congratulations to him. All right, so guys, we shall be back after the commercial break. And then when we are, we shall have the first match to determine who is out in this group. Is it going to be Starbuck or is it going to be Grubby? We shall see. Precision with a true 8,200 DPI Pro Aim laser sensor. Get pure speed with a 32 bit Turbo Core V2 processor. Get pure command power with the Easy Shift button duplicator. Get pure atmosphere with a 16.8 million color lighting system. Rocket Cone Pure.